Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com. Today we're going to be talking about making dynamic buttons. If you haven't seen the video on creating interactive buttons, you should watch that first. Some of the basics that we are going to be using in here are explored in that video and it's pretty important for you to understand that since I'm going to be going through these things relatively quickly. I've already imported into my library a button and you'll remember this from the last video so I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the center and what we're going to do is we're going to make this button um, not only interactive but we're also going to make it dynamic so to begin with we're going to go ahead and put an action script right there and I'm working with action script 2.0 and I'll go ahead and add that in there and I just want this to stop so that's under timeline control under global functions when we want have our video to play we want it to come on and stop until we give it another command the next thing we want to do is we want to convert this to a symbol and we want to convert it to a button so we'll go ahead and name it button and make sure that the type chosen is button. Click OK. Alright, now we've got our, our button in frame one of our timeline and we've got the action script on it to stop it right there. Now what we want to do is we can go to our library and we want to open the button that we created so we can edit it. So we'll double click on the button and up at the top we have our familiar timeline. Now let's go ahead and fill in up, over, down and hit. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in there and insert a blank keyframe in both the over and hit columns. We'll go back to the up column and we'll right click here and we want to copy this and we want to paste it in both the over and the hit column. Okay. Now this is when we are going to start making this button a little bit more dynamic. Um, what we want to happen is when we scroll over the button, we want the bu button to kind of look like it throbs. And you can use any type of animation that you want. This is something simple that I can show you relatively quickly. Okay, in order to do that, we need to make sure that we have the right keyframe selected. So we'll go to the over, because that's where we want this to happen, when you scroll over it with your mouse. And then we'll go back down to the button. We'll right click on the button, and then we'll select convert to symbol. This time, we want to convert it to a movie clip. Alright, so we'll select movie clip and we'll call this dynamic because we want the button to be dynamic and animated. We'll click OK. And now in our library, you'll see we have a dynamic movie clip. Alright, so we'll want to double click on that and isolate that. When we do that, our button's here and we see that we have a traditional timeline up here at the top. And since I'm going to make this just kind of throb, what I'm going to do is just put a couple basic tweens in there. So I'll right click on frame number 5 and I'll insert a keyframe. And I'll go ahead to frame number 10, I'll insert another keyframe. On frame 5, we want this guy to get bigger, like it's throbbing. So we'll go ahead and make it bigger, just like that. Alright, now back in our timeline, we'll just right click in between those spaces and we'll give it a little classic tween in between those. Okay. So now um, our button should throb when you roll over. So we'll go back to the scene and we'll go ahead and export our movie and see what we have. And sure enough, when we go over the top of it, the button throbs. And you can create any type of interesting animation to have, have this happen, whatever you want. Now we need to go back and address our button because right now when we try to click it, nothing happens. So we haven't given it the command to click. So let's go back to our library and we'll find our button. There it is. We'll double click on it. Oh, excuse me. Let's go back to the traditional timeline. There we go. We need to right click right here and we're going to select actions and then global functions and under global functions movie clip control on and then on release we're going to go right here and we'll add a script uh, another global function timeline control go to and play and this time we want it to play frame number two okay so we have nothing on frame number two so we're going to go ahead and insert a new layer we'll right click and insert a blank keyframe on frame number two and then we'll go ahead and we'll import a little animation to play. So we'll import video. We'll select that animation. There it is. Embed FLV and SWF. There we go. Next. Finish. And there we go. Now we've got a command for the button. 
So when we export this, we've got the throbbing, and then when we click it, it'll play the movie. Okay, so that's good enough. But let's add some music to it. Let's add a little bit of sound. Hey, it shouldn't have said music. Let's add a little bit of sound to that button. Okay, so we'll go back to the first keyframe and we'll go back to our library and we'll actually go back to our button. All right, and this is where we want the music to happen when you go over the top when it starts throbbing. So we'll go to that keyframe over because it's where we want our action to happen. And then this is really cool about Flash. We'll go up to Window and we'll go down to Common Libraries and there's even some sounds for us to choose from. So we'll just find a nice sound. And I want a nice ooing, aahing kind of sound when that throbs. So we'll find that under here. And there's a bunch of different sounds that you can choose from. Let's where is that nice sound. There we go, human crowd ooze. And to make that play, we're just gonna click and drag it right to the middle of the stage, okay? Now, if we export our movie, we can see what we've got. Oh yes, so when you scroll over the button, you hear the sound, and then when you click it, it'll take you to wherever you want it to take you to, whether it's an image, whether it's an animation, where it's, whether it's an answer to a question, whatever. You're only limited by your creativity. So that does it pretty much for dynamic um, flash buttons. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com.